This is the Thanksgiving edition of the Weather Extreme video. James Spann here, Thursday, the 26th of November. Hope you and your family have had a great day today. Working the TV side tonight, so we'll crank out one of these to take a look and see what's happening. And the answer today is not much in the weather. Let's take a look. First off, coming from Mount Cheehaw. I bet they had a wonderful Thanksgiving buffet up there at the restaurant this afternoon. A cloudless sky. Pretty cool up there. They're in the 40s up on that big mountain despite the sunshine. How about Thanksgiving on the Alabama Gulf Coast? Wouldn't it be nice to be down there? Bright, sunny day. Cool breeze blowing. And that's a sky cam on the campus of Troy University. It's sitting in the end zone at the football stadium. Looks like they got a little bit of Thanksgiving practice going on down there. And again, even down in uh, Pike County in South Alabama, the weather is brilliantly gorgeous. Look at the trough over the east helping to deliver the chilly air. Temperatures today is expected about 10 degrees cooler. There's a look at the uh, contours around the nation. Up in parts of uh, Minnesota, they're below freezing at mid-afternoon. Down here, mostly 50s. We'll take a look at our specific numbers. Numbers uh, range around here, mostly from about 50 to 55. We do note Haleyville is sitting at 49 at uh, 2 o'clock. Rain for the next five days. Uh, this is valid through Tuesday morning. And this is suggesting rain amounts of about one-half inch. And that system early next week, still, even at this phase of the game, we have more Really, uh, questions than answers. Let's look at modeling. This is the 12Z GFS at noon tomorrow, noon Friday. The trough that delivered the cool air today rotating rapidly to the east. It is quite progressive. And there's a look at the uh, surface chart. Boy, what a great day for the Iron Bowl. Now, we're going to start the day below freezing, I think. Uh, sure looks like the colder spots are going to be in the 20s. Uh, and we'll wind up in the low to mid-50s. Bright, sunny weather for Jordan-Hare Stadium. The kickoff temperature should be about 53 or 54. And again, once that sun begins to set in the second half, it'll cool off pretty quickly. Saturday, fine day to start the weekend. Again, we'll start the day around freezing. We'll wind up uh, in the low and mid-60s. Sunday looks good. Mid-60s likely, maybe upper 60s in spots. And Monday, well, a different look. We've still got the trough to the west, but this time really the model wants to cut off a part of that over – uh, Baja, the Gulf of California, in Baja, California out there. And down below, that uh, front comes through with a chance of showers uh, Monday afternoon and Monday night. But if this run is right, not that much rain and no severe weather risk, just a band of showers, probably no thunder. And by Tuesday, it's gone. Uh, we go dry. And then Wednesday, here comes the system that was over the Gulf of California blowing through here. And if this is correct, we'll see a second round of rain on Wednesday with a Gulf low. So on this run, all of a sudden, we're looking at a chance of showers Monday, maybe a better rain event Wednesday of next week with that. And then Thursday, that feature is long gone, and we dry out, and we're cool, but nothing excessively cold. And more than likely, this will probably change again as we go along, and that the GFS and all global models are going to struggle. They always have and probably always will in this active pattern. We'll go out there at the end of the month. How about December the 12th? Very cold look over Canada, and uh, that's going to deliver some really cold air down into the uh, northern states. Look at those thickness values. What's that, 4860 uh, in the core of that cold air up there? Goodness, that's more like the dead of winter. Uh, but we're just on the edge of that. There's no big trough to deliver it down here, but again, just be aware that it's up there, and uh, it sure looks like December is going to be an interesting month to watch the weather around here, as it usually is. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning, or I'm let me, let me rephrase that. Yeah, maybe by 7 o'clock. We'll crank out one video tomorrow. More than likely, it will be early, and then I'll be doing radio. Uh, if you're local to us, join us on television this evening, ABC 3340 at 5, 6, and 10. So, again, thanks for watching. Hope your rest of the Thanksgiving weekend is great, and God bless. Each day, there are new stories to tell about the people who live here and the place we call home. All of the faces that I see, all of the places close to Sharing your stories on ABC 3340, Alabama's news leader.